having an email address specifically for your business and one that uses your business domain name is really important because you want your business to look professional. We are continuing how to build a business website in a weekend with lesson nine, setting up your business email. In this lesson, you'll learn how to set up your business email. And we're going to set things up so that you will have a business email account on your domain, but you'll be able to access it from Gmail. It's nice to set things up this way because managing your emails through Gmail is typically much easier than using the interface provided by web hosts. So you'll need to have a Gmail account already established. If you don't have Gmail yet, just take a minute or two to set that up and meet me back here. Let's set up a business email for a domain hosted on WPX. So you'll need to go to your WPX dashboard and under WordPress hosting, you're going to go to the domain that you want to set up the email for, then you'll go to manage service. When you get to this page, you'll click email boxes and then click add an email box. So now just type in the email that you want to create. If you want to add a real name, you can do so. Now under aliases, aliases are interesting. You don't have to set up an alias, but it might be handy to do so. If you click set catch all feature for this email, then you'll see that a catch all alias has been added. And so with this feature, if anyone tries to send an email to any address at your domain, you will receive it at the address specified above. For the quota, you can keep this low if you want to make sure that your email doesn't hog your disk space, or you can change this to bump it up higher if you like, or you can even set it to the limit of your disk space, and that will hopefully ensure that your email inbox doesn't get too full too quickly and that emails won't bounce back. But since I'm not expecting to receive that many emails in the beginning, I'll just leave this at 50 megabytes. Let's scroll down here. Under forward email to, you'll need to put in your Gmail address that you'll be using to check your email. Put in a password and under send settings to, fill in an email address that you have access to. So I'll go ahead and use my Gmail account and the confirmation for setting up this email address will be sent to your Gmail account. And then just click submit. All right, and now we can head over to Gmail. Once you're in Gmail, you should see that WPX has sent you the configuration details for your email. At this point, I would suggest printing that email out so that you have a written form of those details or just jot them down by hand. And that's because when we proceed to add your account to Gmail, it's kind of difficult to switch windows back and forth. So then just go to your Gmail settings and go to see all settings go to accounts and import, and then under send mail as, click add another email address. In the email address field, add the email address that you want to connect. You will need to keep treat as an alias selected and then click next step. So we are going to use SMTP. So in your configuration email, look for the section that says SMTP. You can ignore anything that says IMAP or POP3. For SMTP server, use the information that is labeled as outgoing server. For the username that is at the top of your configuration email, the password is the password you chose when you set up your email on WPX. And make sure you put the right port number in your email, it'll be listed as SMTP port. And then click add account. And then there's one last thing you'll have to do. So you'll need to go back to WPX and then go to your dashboard and under WordPress hosting, go to manage service, then go to email boxes. And you should see the email address that you just set up. And beneath that, you can go to webmail client. You will have to log in. And once you log in, you should see a confirmation email sent from Gmail. So go ahead and open that email and they will have sent you a confirmation code. So go ahead and just copy that code and then go back to Gmail to this little pop-up window. It may be hidden beneath your other browser windows, so you might have to arrange that. And then just paste that confirmation code in the field and click verify. And then under send email as, you should see your new email address. 
and then don't forget to specify your reply settings. I typically like to reply from the same email address that the message was sent to. Now that all of this is set up, when you compose an email, you can choose which address you want the email to be sent from. Let's create an email account with SiteGround. So you'll need to log in to your SiteGround account, then go to Websites. On the My Websites page, go to the domain that you want to create an email account for, and then click Site Tools. When you get to this page, you can go to the Email tab, and then click Accounts. From this page, under Create New Email Account, put in the new account name that you want to create, then put in a password, and click Create. Now you should see that there's a new email address listed under Manage Email Accounts. So then let's go to the three-dot menu, and let's click Mail Configuration. And from here, we want Manual Settings. Okay, so here is the information you will need to set up your email with Gmail. So you can take a picture of this with your phone or jot it down on a piece of paper. And when you've got that information recorded, then you can head over to Gmail. Once you're in Gmail, you'll need to go to Settings, See All Settings, and then go to Accounts and Import. And under Send Mail As, you'll want to add another email address. Under email address, type in the address that you just set up on SiteGround. You do want to treat as an alias, so go ahead and leave that checked, and then click Next Step. And now you'll need the information that you just jotted down from SiteGround. Under SMTP Server, you can use the information listed under Incoming Server. Be sure to choose the port that is specified under SMTP Port. Then use the username that was provided in those manual settings that you just wrote down. Use the password that you just created, and then click Add Account. Then you'll need to go back to SiteGround and under Email, Accounts, and then you'll need to go to Manage Email Accounts and look for the email address that you just created. Under the three-dot menu, let's go ahead and log in to Webmail. And here you should see the email confirmation that was sent from Gmail and you can simply copy this confirmation code, and then you'll need to go back to Gmail to paste that code in. And then click Verify. All right, so then you should see a new email address added under Send Mail As. If you haven't specified what to do when replying to a message, be sure to specify that. And now when you compose a new email, you should be able to choose the from email address. Next, you'll need to set up email forwarding so that any messages sent to the new address that you just set up on SiteGround will be forwarded to your Gmail address. So go to email and forwarders, and under forward all messages sent to, put in the new email address that you just created. Note that the domain is already filled in for you. And then under to email address, then you'll need to put in the Gmail address that you want your emails sent to. And then click Create. And now when you compose an email, you should be able to choose your from email address. And all of your emails from the address you just set up will be forwarded to your Gmail address. So that was how to set up your business email. Let's move on to the next lesson.